Welcome to Skyblock Bronzeman. If you don't know what this profile is, I don't really blame you. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video on this profile, so the basics of it are this. On Bronzeman, I'm not allowed to use the auction house or trade with any other players. However, I am allowed to use the bazaar. So far on this profile, I've unlocked access to all of the main islands, I got my first armor set and sword, and I have a decent number of talismans. With that all wrapped up, I need to keep you guys up on the status of this profile. The last time I played on it was, of course, about six months months ago, the last time I made a video on it, and I haven't even collected minions on it since, so of course I have all full redstone minions, and this is going to be a lot of collection and a lot of redstone, of course. For now, though, all I'm gonna do is have my silverfish summoned, and I can collect all of my redstone minions, which will probably give me a lot of mining XP, and of course a lot of collection. I honestly entirely forgot that between when I played last and now, they kind of changed how quick crafting works, so that was a lot easier than the last time I had to do this, and so that'll make this go by a little bit quicker, however, I do still need to craft a lot of enchanted redstone. But I did actually get quite a bit of mining XP. My silverfish leveled up a few times, and now I'm taming 15, which is kind of nice, doesn't really give me much. But also with this, I can sell this. In total, I actually already have 200,000 coins that I didn't remember and that were just in the bazaar, so I can collect that. And I can set up a new sell offer for another 170,000 coins. It looks like my total bank balance now is 3.5 mil. Okay, wow. I actually forgot how much money I had on this profile, and it was a lot more than I expected. I want to get to the end, and so to do that, I'm going to need a lot more talismans. So right now, I only have 10 talismans, which kind of sucks, <laughs> and so I need to get more of that. The first talismans that I want to get are going to be the ones from the bazaar that I don't need a collection for, and there are only a few of those, but one of the ones that I can get is the shark talisman. The shark talisman is like really cheap, and I don't know why it's so cheap, but it is, and I'm not going to complain about it. All it takes is eight shark fins and one nurse shark tooth, and so that is a total of 6,000 coins, and it also requires no collection, so I can just crafted and I can upgrade it from there. To upgrade it to uncommon, it's only gonna be 15k, and to go to rare, it's gonna be another 45k. So that means it's basically like a 65k rare talisman, and that's like really good. <laughs> I actually just realized I could upgrade my shark talisman to epic because it's only another like 85 or 90k. I would make a buy order, but I highly doubt that anybody is insta-selling shark teeth right now, so I'm probably just gonna have to insta-buy if I wanna get them in any reasonable amount of time, and so that's 100k for an epic talisman. Most of the rest of the talismans are locked behind some collection or crafting requirement, or they're based on time-gated events, and so I can't do any of those right now, meaning that the first ones I'm going to tackle are getting the collections in order to craft some of the farming talismans. In total, there are seven different farming talismans spread across three different collections, and those are Netherwart, Sugarcane, and Pumpkin. The first one of those that I'm probably going to go for is the Cane ones and those are the speed talismans. There's three upgrades of them, and they're pretty cheap in terms of like actual items. However, they do require a lot of collection. I don't really want to build a farm on my island quite yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and farm the cane here that's on the public island. And if it's really, really slow, I might go ahead and build a small farm. I actually already have the recipe for the speed talisman, and of course that was really, really easy, but I wanna see how much it would take in order to unlock even just the second tier. The second tier is unlocked at 2,000, and that's actually not that bad. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and farm up to 2,000 because getting all the way to the artifact would take a while, and so I'll come back when I have that unlocked. Oh, wow, there we go. That actually didn't take like very long at all, and so that means now I can actually just go ahead and craft it. Um, of course, the speed talisman is ridiculously cheap, but to craft the other one, to craft the upgrade one, the speed ring, I'm going to need, it looks like, about a stack and a half of enchanted sugar. So I'm gonna have to go to the bazaar, and I'm hoping it's not too expensive, and I don't really think it will be. In total, I only need a 33k, and that's really cheap, I can totally buy that for now. With that, I can go ahead and craft the speed ring, and that kind of sucks, it doesn't actually give any useful perks, but it's another uncommon talisman. The last talisman that I'm going for before I start reforging and also getting more damage items is the Emerald Ring, and this requires 5,000 emerald collection, so I've kind of just been sitting here mining emeralds in a circle like this, and is it really, really boring? 
Yeah, but it only should take another couple inventories worth. That means if I get another inventory and a half, then I can craft the emerald ring, which does cost 32 enchanted emeralds, but that's really, really cheap. I actually realized as I was mining that there is a talisman that will both increase my mining efficiency and is also really cheap for a rare talisman, and that is the mineral talisman. It only costs nine refined minerals, meaning that it only costs 200k, and when you craft it into the talisman, it actually increases your mining fortune just by a tiny tiny bit. I ended up getting the collection that I needed in order to unlock the crafting recipe and I got a little bit extra since why not and I don't think that I'm going to have quite enough to be able to craft it. Yeah I need to go to the hub and buy two extra enchanted emeralds. With that I can craft the emerald ring and that adds on another uncommon talisman to my collection and so now I have a total of 14 talismans. I also went ahead and reforged my talismans and I don't really know if this is going to be the exact best but I'm pretty sure it's as good as I'm gonna get for now and the way that I did it is I have all of my common ones on forceful my uncommons are on superior my rares are on forceful and my single epic is on forceful as well and so now in total if I go ahead and check I have 156 strength and 138 crit damage I ended up getting all the way to the next redstone collection and this is really as far as I'm gonna go for now a million is far more than I need and I already have a very large accessory bag I'm not going to need all that space for a really long time. And so I picked up all my minions and now I have space for a new set of 14 minions. The minions I'm going to place down are going to be the ones that unlock collections that have talismans in them. In total, once this is done, I'll have seven more talismans. So I'm going to be getting the piggy bank from the pig minions, the feather artifact from the feather minions, the magnetic talisman from the obsidian minions, the lapis artifact or the experience artifact from the lapis minions, and then I'm going to be getting the day and night crystals from the quartz minions and the night vision talisman from the mushroom minions. Yes, it's a lot to keep track of, and these are going to end up filling up really, really quick, so I'm going to have to empty them pretty frequently, especially the ones that don't have compactors. Now that those are set up, all I can really do is wait, and in the meantime, one of the things that I want to try out is killing Enderman. The main reason I want to do this is so that I can unlock the Enderman minion collection, because once I get this, I can place down Enderman minions, and then I can craft an AOTE, which will make life a lot easier for a lot of things. It also means that I can start grinding for things like ender armor or an enderman pet which will let me progress a lot faster because i mostly have the tank stats to be able to tank through their damage the thing that i really need to care about is dps and so to increase my damage i'm going to be getting an end sword of course this is really cheap and i'm going to enchant it a little bit but i was really surprised that this is actually kind of decent i'm just going to go for basic enchants here so i'm going to go sharp five telekinesis of course ender slayer five triple strike is going to increase my damage a decent bit i'm pretty sure. I don't want first strike because I don't really care about one tapping these. I'm not going to. Giant killer because that will increase my damage by a lot. And then the other one is I'm probably going to get lifesteal. Lifesteal just seems like a good idea because I'm going to have to deal damage to these for a decent amount of time and they will be dealing damage back to me. The last enchant that I'm going to get is of course critical and with that I'm pretty sure that's all I need for now. I'm also going to go reforge it of course and that's going to cost a little bit of money and I'm going to reforge it to sharp just like I have this one on. I'm pretty sure armed with this, I actually have a decent chance against Enderman, but I'm really not too sure. There is also a chance that I'll just get obliterated. Let's see. So I'm dealing, oh wow, I'm dealing 1700 damage on crit and I'm in hardened diamond. I'm I feel like that's pretty good, and so now I can kind of three or four tap these, and while they do a little bit of damage to me, they're not enough to kill me. Now I'm probably just going to go ahead and grind up some Endermen, both to get some combat XP like I just got there, and also so then I can unlock the recipe for the Enderman minion so I can place down some Enderman minions on my island later on. What just happened? I didn't really plan on getting anything, and then I got an Ender Helmet. Okay, that was really weird. <laughs> well, I'm very happy about that, and I can actually go enchant this now. I ended up grinding until I got the Ender Pearl 2 collection, but I'm still just really surprised that I got this Ender Helmet on, like, my fifth Enderman kill while I was just trying to talk about an entirely separate thing. That's just really funny to me, and it was super unexpected. But it also means that I have to go enchant and reforge this now. All I'm gonna do for now is growth and protection, so I have both of those there, and 
because these stats get doubled on the end island, that'll mean once I'm on the end island, this will give me 200 health and 100 defense. I can also go ahead and reforge this to pure, and so now I can put this on and look absolutely dripped out. I waited a few hours to collect my minions, and I unlocked the obsidian talisman that I needed, which is the gravity talisman, and I unlocked the first of the feather talismans. In total, I now have 17 talismans. One epic, I have two rares, I have four uncommons, and the rest are all commons. Because I have that on top of the end sword, I have a feeling I'll be dealing some pretty decent damage, especially once I unlock potions. I want to do a quick damage test of how much damage I can do now that I have all of these talismans, my properly reforged ender helmet, and my maxed out ender sword, and it looks like I'm dealing 2,000 damage per hit, which is definitely going to help because over time I'm going to be grinding all the way up for full ender armor. But I think with that, that just about wraps it up for this video. In the next episode, I'll probably be getting ender armor, and that will take a lot of Enderman. If you've watched all the way to the end of this video, I want to personally say thank you, as if this video does well, it would really mean a ton to me. I've enjoyed making this series up until now, and I very much do want to bring it back because I've realized how much fun it is. With that, that just about wraps it up. I'll see you guys later, and adios for now.